Welcome back everyone. It's Rini from Rini Rocks. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this flower tray using uh, iridescent cello wrap. I have gone ahead and cut out my pieces and you'll see some of them I have trimmed with liquid gold leaf just to add definition to the flower pattern. So there you'll see the ones that have the liquid gold leaf painted on them and the ones without. And um, a quick and easy way to do this is I just took the cello wrap, I crumpled it up first, and then just took a whole, whole bunch of sheets, placed them together, folded them longwise, and I just cut out the petals, and there you have it. So I'm just going to start randomly placing the petals onto the mold. Um, this mold is a 13 inch mold. It takes about seven to 800 milliliters. Um, and you're probably wondering why I haven't placed, uh, the resin first and then the petals. And that's because the resin that I'm using, Resin Art Flow, uh, cures very quickly, which I absolutely love. I can touch a piece. It'll cure to the touch within four hours of me pouring. And sometimes depending on the thickness, it can be even sooner. So I wasn't r really ready, uh, willing to risk placing the resin first and then just having, uh, you know, just, no, this way was just better for me. So you'll see here, I'm just randomly going between the two uh, painted petals and non-painted ones and just creating a beautiful flower pattern. And I just absolutely love how this tray turned out. The effects of it are just gorgeous. So while I'm doing this, I'll talk about the resin that I'm using. Yeah, like I said, it's a fast cure. Working time is a little less than normal, but not, but, uh, not by much. Um, but for me, I absolutely love it. It just uh, takes up, you know, I don't have to wait so long for my pieces to cure and I can move on to the next piece. And that's a bonus. And you'll see here, I'm just slowly filling it up. or quickly filling it up. And now I've just gone ahead and got some uh, different glitters together, some chunky gold and fine glitter, different hues of green glitter, chunky. And I mixed them up, added some resin to it. And we're gonna add that to the center of the flower pattern. So here, uh, the first for the first round, I have mixed up 500 mils. I wasn't sure. I think I've only used this um, uh, mold once before, and I couldn't remember how much I needed. So I figured I'd be safe with 500, and if I needed to add, uh, more, make more, I I will, you know, just go ahead and do it. Now. I wouldn't, I see, you'll see, I wasn't really too worried about movement of the petals by just pouring the resin on top. And that's because you can just easily um, use a stick and just shift the petals back into place. Now you just add the glitter to the center. Oh, and I think I've added some uh, gold or excuse me, gold, but uh, black um, shiny beads to that as well. And can't really see it that well right here, but um if they're noticeable when you get closer. So I'm just doing some, making some adjustments. I just hit it with the heat gun a little bit. And let it cure. Okay, so now it's been about two hours. And you'll see here that it's a little tacky, but it's almost cured to the touch. So it's only been two hours and that's pretty impressive for me. I love that. 
So I'm just randomly, originally this was going to be a bowl. And then I remembered that I had found these gorgeous handles that would just look really great with this pattern. So I used those. So now I've gone ahead and I've mixed up another 200 mils to um, cover up any little uh, petals that were sticking up from the first round and also to um, seal in the handles so they don't move. And I actually like placing my handles on my tray this way. Uh, I used to do, I don't know, I found that I would always be worried that the handles would like fall over. So I like it when the resin is cured just a little bit. And then I don't run the risk of my handles just tipping over because I've had that happen and it's not, it's not fun. So you just cover it up, make sure it gets to all the nooks and crannies. And then torch some bubbles. And there you have it. So now it's time to demold. And literally this is probably a couple hours later, if I remember correctly. And there you have it. Isn't it gorgeous? What I'm, I just absolutely adore. Now I see there are some bubbles underneath. So what I did off camera was I just flipped it over and did a top coat on the bottom and that covered it up. But I actually like the fact that this had some bubbles to it. It just uh, kind of made it look like I was, uh, it's a flower floating on water. And I'm going to trim the edges with some gold leaf. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys again the next time. Take care now.